welcome to episode five. I know that's this a little bit different. Uh, we're here in my car, right by uh, Missouri State. Yeah, we're checking in, folks. And wait, we gotta do the signature move intro. <laughs> and we're here, episode five, we're underway. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Folks, today we are, uh, it was my turn to bring the pre-workout. Yeah. Um, so we are working with a little gold standard pre-workout here. Yeah. Check it out there, folks. Optimum nutrition. Optimum nutrition pre-workout. Give her a look, man. What do you think about it? Uh, Tell me, let's, you're more of the ingredient kind of guy. You kind of know the ratios and kind of all that jazz. What I don't do you know much of the ratios. What are you talking well, about? You, you know better than me. Yeah, so I mean so, like, uh, it's got vitamin D, it's got niacin. I mean, it's got a lot of other stuff. Uh, it's got a proprietary blend, which that's pretty uh, that's pretty standard. Um, the beta alanine's pretty massive. It's 1.5 grams. And that's what gives you the tingles? That's what gives you the tingles. Folks, come on now. Got some caffeine in it. Got got a couple other complexes. I mean, it seems pretty pretty legit. I mean, it seems just... Pretty standard pre-workout. Yeah, yeah. And which, also on top of that, it's like a lot later in the day for me. So this is like a perfect amount yeah. for... Because cause, cause I don't want to get into like the crazy amount of caffeine to where I like yeah. freak out, you know? So yeah, I'm pumped to try it. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm really anxious. I've had this before. This is my own. I've had it probably maybe three or four workouts and every time I love it it's been really well nice. it's it felt good I don't crash afterwards so it, it goes well with my body okay cool. so I'm excited so what's what's the ratio here I think two scoops is that what it says is that don't it says mix one scoop I was about to say I'm like I'm not gonna do two scoops one here. scoop for and you get about 175 milligrams of caffeine just a hair over a white monster white monsters have 140 so this is having like just a splash of a second monster down down the gullet you so. know I would even argue that monsters with a uh, with all the vitamin B's in there and everything it yeah. actually be closer to like 180 or something I mean like there you go folks you heard so, it here first I mean yeah but um, I'm I'm gonna go two. You know why? Because I work after this, so we gotta stay up. We gotta oh stay active. Boy. So we're gonna go two down the hatch. Two down the hatch. Should we go down the hatch, folks? That's what we've done with powders. To I've the always, dome. To the dome. <laughs> All right, here we go. To the dome. Oh god. Okay. We're, oh, that's kind of a fat what's, scoop. What's the What's the flavor? Uh, we got green apple. Green apple. Ooh. So it's gonna be a little sour. Gonna Ooh. be a little sour. Here we go. I love <clears> some green apple. <sighs> All I'm right. gonna do one down the hatch, then you mix yours, then I'll do another one down the hatch. Oh my gosh, okay. Here we go. All right. Oh, mm. to the dome. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mix mine like a gentleman as he shakes the whole car. Ah! Oh! Ow! Oh! Which, which, by the way, I actually have another oh. work, pre-workout. Um, it's it's a candied green apple. Wow, this tastes like uh, I know it says green apple, but it tastes almost like a one of those pixie smells, sticks you get. It smells really interesting already. Yeah, you can. It smells artificial. I won't lie. It smells kind of artificial. Your breath smells artificial right there. Yeah, <laughs> it tastes like one of those pixie Ooh. sticks. And we're going number two to the dome here. We're hitting shoulders though. We're hitting shoulders and We're hitting biceps. shoulders and a little bit of biceps action. I'm, I'm excited because I, I, I just did back yesterday. So like my back is super sore and super tense. I did eccentric movements. Okay. So like it is just swole to the, to the touch. Those are my favorite. Here we go, number two down the hatch. You give her a go first. Yeah, what smells, do you think? It smells artificial. Have you had this kind before? I didn't even ask. You've mm -hmm. never had this kind? Okay. What about the brand? Optimum Nutrition Pre-Workout? Yes, but a long time ago in like one sample. Okay. Well, what do you think about it? Taste is not bad. Um, you know, we'll see how how it does in the workout. Taste is very like it's a subtle green apple, mm -hmm. which which I definitely appreciate. You know, I mean, it's not like it's not like crazy uh, taste. It's it's not overwhelming. Uh, it's almost refreshing, almost. Ah, oh, yeah. As he just downs his other one. Great. I wonder how the audio listeners, uh, listeners will, will, will <laughs> Yeah, we're in the car. Maybe it's even better audio. I mean, surround sound, like, keeps the sound in, you know? Oh. Wow, that is pungent. Ooh. I bet that's pungent. That's tart in the mouth, but so, it tastes good. I like that. So I actually have, I actually, you know what? I'll, I'll wait for that for next time. <clears throat> okay. I have a, uh, I have a pre-workout called Prefo. Prefo. Yep, just took it. Um, yesterday, in which I did a review on it. I'm not gonna say anything, but um, let me tell you what, it is, 
I'll just say one thing. It's just, it's something else. Yeah. It's something else. So. Okay. Yeah. I I did a full review on it, on the taste, on like the workout and everything else. And yeah. So, um, my workout was good. So, I mean, you can kind of take that into a little bit of grain of take salt. Take that as you will. Yeah. Take yeah. that as you will. So. <clears throat> well, but, dude, we're hitting shoulders today. I know I hit... I'm not gonna lie. I hit a little bit of shoulders last night, Jesus, late, dude. but that's okay. I just got some blood in there. I okay. was, I just, I did a little bit of back too. Um, My lord. So I was. And you wanted to do a back day today? Well, I didn't go heavy. I wanted <laughs> okay. to go heavy. I did a lot of volume yesterday, so I just burped too. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to go heavy, but today, have you ever done anything called like a rest pause set? Yes, I've done rest. We're pause. doing. I hate rest pause. We're doing. So we're gonna mix a couple different variations in there for workouts, but today we're gonna do for shoulders. Um, we're gonna start off with, ah oh shoot, what is it? Um, I think it's shoulder press. I think it's dumbbell shoulder press. Rest pause of 100. Okay. Yep. Side lat, rest pause of 100. Okay, so so, so are we going 100 continuous or are we going 100? So, so we'll go, so ideally with this rest pause, you wanna fail around 10 to 12. Jesus, dude. So you gotta pick a heavy weight, you're gonna fail around 10 to 12. I'll go, I'll do my 10 to 12, okay. you'll go. So we're just gonna go back and forth until we hit 100. Oh, so I think boy. it's shoulder press. Um, we can either do dumbbell or uh, like machine. So so, so you're going so you're going full, half, full, half, full, half? Yeah, so let's see here. Let's just pull up the workout while we're talking oh, here. Let's see, oh, what we got. let's see what we got cooking here. But, um, yeah, I'm I'm excited for this day because I love rest pause sets. <laughs> Out of all like the different superset, um, like drop sets, negatives, See, not, all that stuff, I I'm love not a fan rest of drop pause. Sets. I'm honestly a fan of negatives. Negatives. I love me some negatives, some some muscle breakdown. Ooh man, those are after after that. I feel like I'm about to just keel over. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Which by the way, I had a pretty gnarly leg day on Saturday. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I went. I went. Uh, went five by twenty. Ooh. On, Talk about everything. volume on volume, yeah. dog. Yeah. Almost. Almost on. Almost on everything. Um, Damn. Yeah. I did leg extensions, leg curls, superset those two, leg press. Uh, went into Bulgarian split squats. Uh, got into some calf press and then some RDLs. Ooh, nice. That's I like that finisher. Oh man, G G mini Christmas. It was just like I was sitting. I'm like. Wait, I, I'm like I'm like doing 15s and I'm just like struggling. Yeah. to do that. Well, man, like, after you've already done what four exercises of a hundred reps each, yeah, like yeah, that's brutal. It's a killer, dude. It was it was a killer. It was. I mean, I mean, like I can still feel it. Still, still feel like my my uh, my quads like yeah, still breaking down to try yep. to recover. So yep. Yeah. All right, I got the workout pulled up here. So we're actually going to start with reverse pec deck. Rest pause of 100, shoulder press, rest pause of 100, side lat, rest pause of 100, and then front raise, three to four sets of 10 to 14. That's for shoulders, and then we can kind of mess around with biceps okay. if we want. Okay. Biceps, um, I was gonna think, keep it kind of simple. So, two exercises. First one, easy bar curl, rest pause of 100. Uh -huh. So, kind of go back and forth. And then the last one, concentration curls, three to four sets of 10 to Is 14. Is this going to take like two hours? Absolutely not. We're going to go high intensity here. <laughs> it's going to be quick. High intensity, rest pause. I mean, like, this is just like, it sounds it sounds like mesocycles. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> it's going to be dirty, dude. It's going to be oh nice. Oh, my gosh. Which, speaking of which, I'm actually going to be doing a routine pretty soon. Yeah? Uh, new routine. So, yeah, so I'm going to be uh, making that pretty soon. Video's so, what does that entail? Up. Yeah. I haven't even started, actually, to, to be honest. I okay. haven't started, and it's it's Monday, and I'm supposed to be posting that on Thursday. So well, there you go. You got, I three, don't, you got three days to put in some work. I, I have some three days to put in some hard-ass work, but pretty much it's going to be a lot of cutting. Yeah. A lot of cutting, so a lot of high intensity. High um, volume. Metabolic, get get into that high rate, um, that the, the high you know heart, heart rate and all that. Yep. So, yeah. That'll be good, man. So do you, are you going to like use a basis from, like, a bodybuilder or just research you found online and throw it together on your own gonna, or are you going gonna pretty much throw it all together so so like that dorian it's five minute workout stuff mm -hmm. thinking about adding that in a little bit i'm thinking about doing a couple other things like like pretty much like i would do one super set of the five minute and then i would get into like um for, for shoulders it'd be stupid high volume right okay Sh shoulders would 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 keep it at volume. See, I always love doing shoulders at high volume because I don't feel like my shoulders grow as much as like my chest or even legs yeah. or anything with like 
heavy movements of like three to five reps. Shoulders, I have to just destroy them with volume. Back, back you can just be wide. I mean, let's be honest, you're, you you don't really want to chisel back until you start being, you start, start having a wide back, you know what I mean? Like, That's like, fair. Like you gotta have the wings first before, before you really get the really depth into it. That's fair, yeah. So. And I feel like with my back too, I'm kind of, I'm kind of backwards on that, so I'm trying to put on the width. Really? Because I feel like I'm kind of backwards on that. I would agree with you though, like I would rather have a wide back than a thick back, if that makes sense. Yeah. I would personally, but yeah. I mean, what do you know? As no. far as like any body part though, like if you could pick one body part that is just perfect, like that you would have the best in, whether it was your quads, Ooh. let's break it down even from quad to hamstring to calf, bicep, mm. tricep, so it's not your arms, it's either bicep, tricep, it could be forearms, it could be trap development. Man, one, you got me going, okay. Mine's easily shoulders. Nice. That's my lagging point. I know I need to bring that up, so if I could change one thing, it would be shoulders, because that just fills the frame. It's if, gonna give you the V, yeah. and it's gonna make everything just, it's more aesthetically pleasing to me. If I could, if I could change something, okay. So, so, so like you're saying, if I could, change if you could something. have one body part on your body right now that's absolutely perfect, exactly with the way you want it, My proportions, you quads. would have it. Your quads, yeah, It'd quads. Be quads, heartbeat, heartbeat. Really? I know, I, I know that uh, that that the quads aren't really like. I mean, you know, they they are some sort of stable um, thing, but at the same time, it's like they're not really the. The showstopper, I guess. Uh, but I mean, like, man, I just, I, I want some thick ass quads. That's what I want. You know yeah. what I mean? I've, I've, I've always wanted thick legs, in which I've, I've always thought I've had like kind of tiny legs. But I will say the one thing that I am good at would actually be my back. Yeah. My back, I am super good at. What are, what are, what do you think you're super good at? I think one of my high points. I mean, speaking objectively, I guess just from. I guess I mean it's all subjective, you could say, but I think I think I have really good trap development. Okay. So I wish that would just carry over into my shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More so. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You know, you, you know, you also have to, you also have to make, like, you also have to compliment yourself. You do absolutely. Something. Because you know what you you do because at the end of the day, I mean, if you can't, if you if you're not enjoying working out and you're yeah. not liking the way you look and stuff like that, I get everyone. 100%. It's that it's that competitive spirit. You're like, oh, I always got to be better. I got to change this right, or this or this, right. which is fine and great. But you also have to step back and be like, yo, dude, I got some nice legs. I got a yeah. I got a good set of quads. Love or yourself. Whatever it is. Love it, yourself first. You so you know I think I, mean? I got, I think, you know what, folks, I got some good traps. What are you gonna do about it? You know what? I got some Tom Hardy traps. I've got, all right? I've, I, I've honestly got a pretty decent back um, whenever yeah. it comes to the top part to, to flare out, to flare out the back, yep. you know what I mean? But I mean, like, I wish I could work on a little bit more, honestly, the lower back, like more, more of my love handles. I mean, that's kind of more of, more of cardio, but at the same yeah. time, it's like, if you really want that thick back, you're gonna get those. It's kind of, it kind of almost goes hand in hand. Well, yeah, I mean, and it's tough too, especially like in like the culture we live in. Everyone thinks like, oh, I gotta, like, I gotta get so vascular, I gotta get so cut, then I can put oh on muscle. Gosh. Like, that's not how it works. No, like, no, you can't go through life thinking that you're gonna be in a calorie deficit and throw on a whole bunch of muscle uh. and look shredded year round naturally. Or, or, or even, naturally that or is. Even, or even honestly counting your calories. Like I can't stand that. That is such a superficial number compared to like like for cardio for instance. There are there are some people that I know that actually measure the calorie rate on the machine than the distance and time. Which is which is crazy because those machines are so off. Like you can't gauge yeah. you can't gauge saying, Hey, I did like we're, this, this machine says I ran for 30 minutes, so I yeah. burned 200 calories. Like, that's so we're, subjective. We're, it's going to change for me and to you. Yeah. Whether if I was on there for 30 minutes and it says the same calories that we burned, it's not going to be the same. Whereas, whereas an odometer is actually like pretty accurate. Sure. It's pretty, it's a lot closer. Sure. And you're not going to find anything that's going to be the, like, you're not sure. going to find anything that's going to be absolutely perfect. What I always tell people is like, um, like if you're gonna measure body fat or if you're going to weigh yourself, for example, mm -hmm. use the same scale or use the same method you do three months. Like if you're gonna measure yourself on a scale, use that same scale in three months because some scales are gonna be off, you know, yes. even upwards of five pounds. Yes. yes. So as long as you're consistent with whatever you're using, then it's gonna be consistent with the way your body like goes with that, if that makes sense. Do you, do you feel like honestly the biggest problem all right, take two. I hope that I doesn't totally scratch. I totally forgot where the fuck we were. 
I forgot wh where we were. Anyway, but, guys, we're back though. Um, yeah, we were we we're actually discussing about SD cards and storage and, and cameras like that. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I right now have a Canon SX730 Power Shot. It's like a little handheld. It's really good for like vlogging and stuff. It, yeah. The thing flips up on the back. I love it. It was really cheap. I got it like I got it last year in Two Thanksgiving. Years. So it would have been like a year and a half almost. Yeah, yeah. Like a year I, and a half. I, yeah, somewhere like in there. Two years on that. But yep. Yeah. A year and a half ago, a uh, really good deal over Black Friday. It's a Canon. I love Canon. Yep. I want, I, however, I want to get into something kind of bigger. Um, not necessarily just like a handheld camera. I forget what, it's like a power shot or I don't know what like the name is. I, I like, see what you're saying. The, the difference between like a bigger camera like you have mm -hmm. and just like one of those small handheld that you can throw in your pocket. Right. If that right. makes sense. See, see, honestly, I actually want to get a bigger camera. Yeah. Like like that that would be something super ideal. I've been looking into Nikon's and Shelby's not really a huge fan of Nikon's, but I mean I'm like I'm kinda on that fence to where I need to get another one so I can get the angles and get a lot of other stuff. Sure. Um on top of that, like I would feel a lot more comfortable with that. I mean look, there's like makeup on this one, so Thanks, I mean, Shelby. Yeah. Appreciate so, you. so I mean like honestly I appreciate her, like you know, being like, yeah, you sh yeah, for sure you can use it. Yeah. Uh, I actually helped pay for, for 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 a little bit of this one, so it's, yeah. so it's kind of like a give and take kind of thing. Sure. But, I mean, at the same well, time, it's I a great want my camera. Own. I love yeah. it. This is a, what EO five or uh, it's the Rebel Canon Rebel. Rebel yeah, yeah, the the, the Rebel T seven I. T seven I. That's yeah. a nice camera. It's yeah. A, it's a sleek camera too. The T eight I like just dropped, so this one went on sale. And, oh, okay. And and they were like, honestly, between the two, it's not really that much of a difference. Well, I'm sure. I feel like that's the same thing with like anything, like even phones. Yeah. Like, oh, like you can save like 500 more pictures on this one, and then you can do or whatever it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? I will say between like a seven and a ten, it's drastically different, right? What's that? For, oh, for iPhones? Yeah, yeah, well, for sure. iPhones. But yeah. then, but but then, if if you're comparing like. I mean the eight plus versus the X plus. I mean like it's or or whatever you know what I mean the or, XS Max or whatever. It's not really that much of it. Or the iPhone seven or the iPhone seven plus. Like yeah. what? It's like whatever it is. You know it's what just, I mean? It's just different size. It's, it's that's just the marketing aspect yeah. of it. I feel like. But. Yeah, that's that's why honestly I have um, a Windows laptop too. Just because yeah, I, I have a Surface. So I mean I love it. It does what I need. Um, yeah, I'm I gonna mean, get super nerdy in here. I actually, I actually got it because of the GPU and because of the CPU. Can tell you what that is, but yeah, <laughs> uh, processor and then also um, light, light gaming processor, right? See, I'm oblivious to all of that stuff. Even with cameras too, I've just learned from what I know. Just because when I got a camera, I was like, I have to learn about now, this now. Now, now that's one thing I actually do not know a lot about compared to uh, laptops. So, so like laptops, I know about like you know RAM size, about what type of RAM it is, like DDR4, or DDR5. Um, the Nvidia, um, of course, they're they're the GPU like gods right now. Um, specific um, computer processors. I mean, I I know a lot about that and like clockage and whatnot, but turning over to cameras, I know nothing yeah. about them. And so and, and so that's another thing I've been really wanting to venture into, right? Sure. Um, just like venturing into Adobe Premiere, like you know a lot about. Adobe Premiere Pro, sure. whereas I do not because I use a, a more simplified software. Yeah. Um, and uh, and so like as time goes by, we're actually thinking about coming up here, like honestly, like probably September or or, or, or October. At the so, library. Yeah, yeah. So so, sure. so 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 I can learn it, and then and well, it's then, free there. Then you know what well, I mean. So well, well, not yeah. only that, but then they give you like it's a huge desktop Mac laptop or a computer, and you can just learn from there. It has all of Adobe's but, apps, and you can just learn from that. Yeah, here's here's the cool part about that, right? Is that is that um, Shelby, of course, graduates in in December. Yep. And before she graduates, we're thinking about getting the discounted rate, the, the student discounted rate. Oh, sure. For Adobe. Well, absolutely. And then why wouldn't you use that for one year, and then yep. the other year, and then bada, bada bing, bada boom, we're all set. There you go. So I mean, like, yeah, that's that's kind of the plan because I would I would honestly really like to get into Adobe Premiere Pro just so I can do so much more. With you can it. do a lot more, and I I don't know other softwares like I don't know like Final Cut Pro or iMovie or anything. I don't know how to work right. any of that. But from my experience with Adobe, it's super easy. Final and Cut's anything, actually a little bit easy too. Is it's it? Kind of. All it's a I know is too. if I ever have like a question, like, "Oh, how do I do this or how to do that?" Because, like I said, I didn't know anything about laptops or computers. Yeah. I literally just YouTubed it and be like, uh -huh. "How do I insert a clip? How do I do this?" And it's so easy. Yeah. 
super easy. Yeah. It's easy to work around and you can take it anywhere. Like I said, going to Missouri State, they have that for free on yeah. campus. Yeah. So it's really compatible. So I, I mean, I mean, I'm I'm honestly thinking about sometime soon to come up to campus just to yep. like just kind of play play around with it. So just, just so I know. Yep. But I mean, right now I'm trying to make my <laughs> trying to make content as much as I can. Yeah. And then finally get everything going. So there you go. Um, looks like we we pretty much maxed the other card and we're pretty close. I mean, are you we're feeling it a little here. bit? I can feel it in my ears. Are you feel in your ears? Yeah. All right. Maybe that's because I took it straight to the dome we and took I just it straight I, to the dome. I, just went up like this and went back down and I felt like there were nails going down my whole back. <laughs> so I'm really itchy right now. All right, guys. Well, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to also do a post show in here. Yep. Um, and I, I even brought my, my light too. So oh, we we're got chilling. that going. Yeah. yeah. So we're hitting shoulders, some biceps today. Rest pause of 100. It's going to be dirty. <sighs> Raw and dirty tonight, boys. Oh, boy. There we go. All right. Here we go.